애니멀 킹덤에 왔어요. 와, 여기도 오늘 사람 많네. 계속 비가 오더니 오늘은 드디어 해가 났어요. 와, 동물 보는 날인데 해가 나서 너무 다행이다. 자, 오늘 하루도 즐겨 볼까요? Let's go, go. Discovery Island. We have the great noisy birds making their way on in here from human encounters. We're just getting started over here at the bridge of the tree line. We're going to be getting positive reinforcement with all of our birds. So if I mean to that, they may do something that we like. They get some feedback in return. So you'll see as the end is flying out to that perch that Corey is holding. Now, the bobs are actually not being very loud. In fact, one third of all the hawk species are either threatened or endangered out there in wild places. And you were going to see them in the field called the blue throated macaw, and they're very special to us because they're actually the rarest species of the macaw out in the wild today. And this number might be surprising to a lot of you, but there's actually fewer than 300 individuals out in the wild of Bolivia where they're native. That's it. It's a Make sure your roommate can see it for me, friends. Sit down. The uh, greater species, playing only about 3,000 get around the corner. They're unique yeah. for their beautiful orange coats. If you were to touch their orange coat, you'd end up with an orange residue left on your hand. Now those are mountain zebras, you can tell, because if you look at their neck, they have an extra lap of skin known as a dulap. And also they have smaller hooves than the other zebra species, so they can walk in between the rocks and up and down the mountains. <laughs> Some people may ask, are those zebras black with white stripes or white with black stripes? We've actually learned that they are black with white stripes. We know this because they have black hooves, black mouths, and even a black tongue. You can also see some giraffes there. Those are Maasai giraffes, you can tell because of the pattern on their skin. More of a riggedy pattern in comparison to the other giraffe species. When born, they're already about six foot tall, but they do grow to be anywhere from 18 to 20 feet tall. Very large animals spending most of their days eating, only about 30 minutes resting. <laughs> Got some burp. A little bit harder to spot out on your left hand side are some African wild dogs, also known as African painted dogs. They're very famous. 
You can actually see our youngest giraffe over there. If you're looking out on your right side, he's the one on the left closest there. Uh, he was born back in June. He's already about 10. Look at how close it is. Giraffes have the highest blood pressure of all the animals at about 300 over 200. Now they can pump blood all the way to the tippy tops of their heads. And no worries in hurt their heart. Their heart weighs about 20 pounds by itself. Now the zebras you see, the one born, their legs are already <laughs> he decided across. When born their legs are already as long as they will be for their entire life. the wildebeest must be able to run the zebra grinning. We're just going to follow Poli Poli behind the zebra. You hear him, Nan? So, now the zebra in front of us, I believe I could be wrong, is our youngest zebra. Nope, that's him over there. That's our youngest zebra. That's Dash. Um, it looks like we're just going to keep following behind him. He's going to get... Yeah, that's how zebras talk. Did you hear that? <laughs> that was crazy. That was so cool. Oh my goodness. And when born, the elephants are about 150 pounds. They're going to grow to be nearly 15,000 pounds. Now this is about our halfway point through our journey. Two males over here. And on our left and right side are Bayabop trees. Bayabop trees are leafless nine months out of the year. It's you almost of all the flamingo species. Might see a couple of them there, kind of gray or have gray legs and the younger ones. They turn their pink colors at 18 months old from the shrimp that they eat, which contains beta keratin. And a group of flamingos is known as a flamboyant. Now, if you want to see some lesser flamingos, they're a little bit shorter but much pink gray color. They are at the very end of all the black rhinos make their babies follow. Now, this is Milo. He's about six months old. This is mom right there beside. Still got a lot of growing to do and just starting to grow his little horn. How cute. Now white rhinos, like I said, they are the larger of the rhino species, but they're not really white. They're kind of muddy. They get their name from a mistranslation. The Swahili word fight is called Z. Ha, ha, ha. 
for a bird to stay safe from predators out there. That's very true. But one of the coolest adaptations they have, that beak right there. Picture this, they're mostly carnivores, so they eat things like snakes. It comes across a snake. It's over there. You do that first. But then he picks it up. They shake it around. They slurp it back like spaghetti, and frankly, it's disgusting. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. And they also have nice sturdy legs that allow them to locomote on the ground with these. And that is a ground horn bill. Oh, he's going to go back and check to see if there's anything in the hedges. Nope, nothing. Okay, well, here he is at top speed. <laughs> trees and they want to make a hoop with their arms for our bird to fly through. How about like right here the blue shirt and in like the green shirt? Oh, yeah. Count down for liftoff in three, three two, two, one! one. So he's learned a lot of human speech. Do you want to hear some? Yeah. You ready? Let's see. Because I think we've got plenty of time to fill. Um, but first, they've been really patient with us. Would you give them a kiss? Good stuff, you're right. <laughs> okay, so he, he does make a couple other little sounds for us before we jump into that second one. We'll see if he'll do it. He doesn't normally do it out here, but I'll ask him. Um, in fact, I have to make a weird noise to so check this out. I gotta be like, Three, two, Look, Mom. Good job, buddy. <laughs> That was just kind of silly. It was cool. But I love it. Okay, so this uh, we'll see if we'll do one more song. What do you think, buddy? Ready? I mean, look at this. Check it out. Giant. Yeah. And the cool thing is what they do in nature, though. So basically, these birds, something will die in nature. And they eat it. It's disgusting. 
but it's also really cool because it helps to stop the spread of disease, it cleans up what gets left behind, and it returns nitrogen to the earth to help things to grow. So they're integral to the ecosystem, and we kind of call them like nature's recyclers, because we think it's rather charming. Yeah, well, the neat thing is, though, if we all take that a step further and kind of recycle in our own way, I'm pretty sure the world would be a lot cleaner of a place, that's for sure. All right, buddy, you did a great job. One more piece of fish to kind of look for the hedges for, and we'll see you on your way, my friend. Here, thank, you. thank you for coming out. Glad the bear be scored. All right, you got this. He's just grabbing his trees, and then he's looking. We'll give him some information. You, you, can, you can do this. All right, Frazier, what do you say, buddy? Not at all. No, that was for us mostly. <laughs> so the treats. I mean, yeah, and you've worked together in the back, and I think that that's paid off, Scotty. That was Fraser Crane. Oh. Be cool. Now, Hope here was actually injured out in the wild, and because of that wing injury, she couldn't be returned. But she does act as an ambassador for her species to share a very important message. Because not long ago, bald eagles, just like her, they were placed on the endangered species list. And remember, she was dropping so low, so fast, it was fear people would never see these beautiful birds in the wild ever again. But something pretty amazing started to happen. People took notice and they took action. They cleaned up waterways where bald eagles were fishing and they stopped using a chemical pesticide called DDT, which is one of the major reasons for their decline. Right. And one of the best parts about that is that people like all of us made a huge difference for these birds by cleaning up the environment they were living in and we brought them back from the brink of extinction. Exactly right. Everyone's efforts paid off so much so that the bald eagle was taken off the endangered species list. Woo!